Good morning, good morning, my darling dreamers. Nilsa here, head fairy in charge. You may call me HFIC. I'm doing a general reading for you. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a psychic medium with all of the clairs. We're starting with the Cosmic Vibes deck, by the way. It's vibalicious, like you. All right, we have closure. Time to move on and close this chapter. Sometimes silence is the closure. And if you feel like you're in limbo, sometimes you're keeping yourself there. What does that mean? That means you're keeping rose-colored glasses on to avoid seeing other opportunities coming in. I'm hearing to the left, to the left. So somebody could have left you. You could have left somebody. But they say an opportunity is never lost. It's just taken by somebody else. So if it was a love interest, somebody else could have taken them. If it was a job and you took too long to make a decision, somebody else could have taken the job. So I'm hearing um, a lot of air energy. Gemini coming through. Gemini coming through very strong because you like to, I'm hearing you like to give the pleasure of getting advice from your friends and mentors so they can feel like if the decision has victory that they played a part in your victory. However, you're, somebody's getting conflicted information. Conflicted. We have spiritual awakening 1111 manifesting. Manifested dreams are near. Um, someone could also have light blue eyes like this. That color, this, this color is coming through a lot. Or you wear it a lot. You could even have like, be wearing, have like blue nail polish on right now as you're watching this. That'll be a sign for you. So you're asking a lot of people. You're getting conflicted information. Meanwhile, the universe is saying like, I'm trying to show you where to go. But you're standing still. Some of you are actually sitting. You've been standing so long. You're like, let me take a seat. I don't know what to do next. I'd rather just sit here. Sometimes you do get guided to sit and do nothing. And sometimes you get guided to move. But when you get guided to move, there is this fear of uh, consequences. Where if you go in the wrong direction, you can't go back and make things right. But that's not the case. The universe has your back. Look, confirmation um, that you're affirming that you're on the right path. So your guides are sending you angel numbers to, to show you. And you're asking a lot of people, um, which I know I'm people as well. Because <laughs> I'm like, you could be watching readings too. Um, but you feel like somebody's going to be insulted if you don't take their advice. But your gut is telling you it's the wrong advice. So we have recharge. Take some time to recharge your energy. Um, if you have, if you work with decks or crystals or um, I heard scrying boards, pendulum boards, if you work with those, re-cleanse the energy and ask again. I'm, I'm even hearing let it sit overnight. So you might have some like crystals that you like, you like to rest on your deck um, for them to recharge. Oh, we have somebody checking your social media. Okay. So someone is checking on your progress. Whenever you've been needing help on, and some of you might have confided in maybe one or two people that you need help or that you're going through a challenge and a struggle. And so they're checking to see if you've made any progress. And some of you have been standing still because you feel like you're going in a circle. You're like, I don't want to make the wrong decision. So that's part of the self-consciousness here. I'm also picking up Cancerian energy, Cancer energy. So June, July. June, July is like very strong for uh, some people watching. Maybe you or the person in your connection uh, had a significant change or a birthday around that time. You feel like people are watching you. October 13th is going to be significant. I think that's a Friday the 13th in October. Uh, November 11th portal is going to be significant. 11-11. We have overindulgence. Um, I'm, this is what's really sticking out to me is the in too deep. You might have feel like you invested so much that if you were to turn around and go in a different direction, you feel like there's something you can't get back. And we have detoxing here. You need to clean. Um, I'm hearing this doesn't even make sense. <laughs> static energy, um, static energy. So you might be 
hearing a lot of white noise or I'm just seeing like a lot of white static like the snow on television uh, when the television's not working it's like staticky and there's all these different energies around you it's very staticky and you feel like this like you're in this web and this is sticking out see these lines and all these lines here it's like some kind of web you almost feel stuck in in your mind it's like a prison for some of you that's why I'm saying to step outside and look for these signs and it's okay if people think, oh, you're just looking for the signs. You're looking for the butterflies and the clouds. Hell yeah, that's how your spirits fucking communicate with you. So what, are you going to ignore it? I don't think so, honey. No. Enjoy the signs. Take them for what they are. It's worse if you ignore it because they'll just come back to you stronger. So we have detoxing and we have addiction. Some of you might be addicted to asking advice of, of people. And that could be one of your lessons right now. Like to trust your signs, trust your guides, trust your intuition. There is this huge anxiety coming through. Abundance and gifts. You will receive, you're going to receive what you've been manifesting soon. Uh, that came through here as well. Dreams manifesting are near. You've been, what you've been manifesting is coming soon. All right. So that's confirmation that the signs you wanted are coming. Success is coming. You might not be giving a lot of people the victory and and I'm, I'm almost hearing you want everybody to be happy like you want them all to feel like they participated i don't know what it, this is involving okay bottom of the deck is incantation magic you have a powerful tongue you will see what you speak one of the things you could say especially when you feel confused is all the decisions i make are the fucking right decisions you don't have to swear if you don't want to all the decisions I make are the right decisions. Every direction I take is the correct direction for my life. Everything works out for me, even when it looks like it's not. Okay, everything works out for me. You know, you feel like you're being watched. You could be an influencer. You could be someone um, that you you feel like, well, Nilsa, it, it impacts a bunch of people. If I do something wrong or I say the wrong thing, I could lose everything or I could, it just feels, yeah, there's anxiety about saying or doing the wrong thing where you feel like it might be um, irreparable. Ask for help. Yes, you've been asking for help. We have children involved. Fresh start. Hmm, interesting. So this could be even somebody that wants to separate from someone or get a divorce or um yeah this could even be someone that you have let's say you're in a, in a toxic relationship and you have children and you want to leave and you have people saying well you don't want to break up a family and then you have people saying what kind of influence are you giving to these children if you stay in a relationship where you're verbally abused and emotionally intimately neglected so it just feels like for some of you like there if this is if there's children involved in your situation that you're like it could be the wrong situation i mean the wrong um advice so we have busy b relationship improvements and then we have time for playing so this could also be your inner child saying, um, all work and no play makes Jug a, a dull boy. Um, this was a confetti card from the spooky reading I did, dun, 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 which is funny. I don't know where it came from. I cleaned off my desk. This was empty. This was empty. And then when I was getting the other decks out, I saw this straight up like this, or I'm sorry, it was like down like this. And I turned it over and it says, surprise. I'm like, yeah, surprise. I'm pretty meticulous about putting my decks away, putting the cards all upright, putting them back where they belong. So to have a, conf we call them confetti cards. Like it was meant to be. It was weird how it was not, like you would see, you see the red, you would see it on the white. And it wasn't there. Interesting, right? So we have surprise, a surprise coming, big news. Things are in motion. But anyway, this is from The Shining. Um, and so, all work and no play. You know how they say work hard, play hard? I personally witness certain people around me work all the time to never, 
enjoy their time off or their money. I'm like, <laughs> where's the, you're just, you're just working to survive. You're not working to live, right? And so there could be a reason, maybe some of you are saying, cause you feel like, oh, I might lose some money if I, if I leave the um, father. And this could be the other way around. You could be with a woman that's toxic and you're trying to figure out what would happen with the children and everything. And you've been busy, but you're trying to make a point to be there for people. And you could be like, feel like you're spreading yourself thin. Is this upside down? Yes, it's upside down. Okay. All work and no play makes Jack a dull bully. Success is yours. Shift your focus. Holy shift. Set boundaries. Now, boundaries don't have to be announced, baby. You know how everyone's like, oh, I'm going to do a big post and announce this and announce that and be a dramatic Karen or Kevin. I don't think so. You set the boundaries within yourself, within your spirit team, consciously. What that means is, you know what? I see the red flags. I'm not going to bring up X, Y, and Z around this person. And so you just mentally set that boundary. You don't have to actually have to say to them, Dude, I am not talking about relationships with you anymore because you are so negative and you're just going to bring me down. You don't have to say that. You can just mentally say, okay, boundary set, line set, line set. But when you find yourself having to filter so many people, you have to stop and ask yourself, is it more advantageous to be my friend and there's no advantages to being their friend at all? Like, they don't help raise my vibration. They don't help encourage me. They don't inspire me. They're just very mopey. Now, I'm not talking about people who might have um, more. It might not be their fault. Like, you know, Eeyore and, Be and not Beauty and Beast. Ooh, that's a sign for someone. Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh. He was like always depressed, but they still invited him places. They still wanted to be his friend, right? But he had a mental illness. He had depression. I'm just talking about people that they're choosing to be, they're choosing to just complain about certain top, you know what I mean? They're like drama llamas. So be conscientious of that because there will be people that'll say, cut somebody off and then the person will uh, unfortunately go harm themselves and they're like, oh, there were warning signs, but the internet told me to cut them off, right? So you'll know, like you'll know, hey, this person is just dramatic about these things. And this person is actually suffering through something. And I want to make that clear because there's a lot of um, advice that will go back and forth for people. Results coming. Okay. You're going to see, you're going to, you're getting the signs that if you're guided to go outside and, and see the signs, dude, it could even be license plates. It doesn't have to be nature. You, I see, you know how many angel numbers I saw yesterday? And I wasn't like looking for them, but I was, you know, we're driving and I saw 212, 222, 777, 444, 888. It was like everywhere, everywhere. Like almost every car had one. It was wild. But I was just like acknowledging, okay, thank you. I'm on the right track. Thank you. I'm on the right track. So if you're being guided to look for signs like outside of tarot, outside of videos, outside of people, you know, either in nature or in objects, then, then pay attention to them and accept them. Acknowledge and accept. Like, yes, that's for me. Thank you. I acknowledge that success is coming. I'm saying what I need to manifest and it's going to happen. It's also a warning. Okay. It's a warning. I'm going to give you a huge example. When my hormones change, my boobs hurt incredibly. A lot of women go through this. Your boobs get really heavy and sore and they feel like water balloons hanging off your body it hurts to walk and I would always say oh my god my boobs are killing me my boobs are killing me and then I had this epiphany I'm like I have to stop saying that because that's how you fucking get breast cancer think about it you literally are just saying my boobs are trying to kill me my boobs are killing me so if you find yourself saying that things like that try and rephrase them like I'll just say my boobs you know my boobs are very uncomfortable <laughs> um yeah, I'll, I'll try saying those words like I'm in I'm in discomfort or they're, they're not fully right yet. <laughs> All right, so we have an envious and we have a new home. Ooh, okay. So again, with the social media, somebody watching, if you do have a glow up, you could be, let's say some of you work for MLM or something, right? 
like multi-level marketing or direct marketing, something like that, where you're in, you're around a lot of people. You could be watching people around you that started at the same time getting success and you don't have it yet. And then it's like making um, some of some people competitive with you. You're like, I don't even know we're in a competition. We have more to re be revealed. It's not personal. And then we have memories. Okay. This feels like a separate message. More to review. It's not personal. So the success, some people are going to take your success as personal. Whether you ignored their advice or took their advice. Okay. Talking about the memories, what they need to know. Be confident. Your confidence is imbalanced. That's the anxiety coming through. Time to forgive yourself for overthinking. We have the long haul. You've worked hard for this. Okay. Let go of the anxiety. Let it go. You've worked hard for this. I need one more from here. And then we're going to go into the pink deck. Spirit says, the answer to your question is yes. Yes, it's coming. This could be union, new house, leveling up in something in your career. Sun flowers are going to be a sign for you. So you could be a fire energy as well. Queen of Wands has sunflowers. That's Sagittarius. That's Leo energy, Aries energy. Or it could be coming to you um, in Sagittarius season. All right, with the Queen of Wands picture. All right. Let's get some more. More is more. Less is a bore. More is more. Less is a bore. Um, by the way, I didn't bring out this deck. I just... I got but I've been meaning to use it it's a it's uh, fairies and crystals so two beautiful things about which crystals you should be working with um, especially in the fall I'm drawn to amber and citrine like especially like if you can get them together in the fall citrine's good for like inspiration ideas work uh, I forgot what amber is good for but it's beautiful it reminds me of Jurassic Park so all right Beyond a doubt, a sign of success. So it's in the bag. Results coming. Success was one of the first ones that was up here. Success is yours. It's happening. Yes. Without a doubt. Yes. Okay. Without a doubt. So you've seen this for a reason. You've seen this for a reason. See the bottom. The bottom says visualize your desire. Okay. Okay. Visualize, visualize, visualize. Results are coming. Where's the other one? I think it says what you say and what you see. What you say and what you see. That's confirmation. I don't know where I put the other card I had. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Make room for the new. I with the old and with the new. You can't ask for new shit if you're not ready to get rid of the old shit. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. But it's true. Like, we can, even if we ask for, like, a new wardrobe, but we're not getting rid of any old clothes in our closet, and then we have to buy new hangers, and then we get overwhelmed. There's, like, too much abundance, but I don't know. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I think I saw something about incantation. I swear I saw something. Where did I put it? Here it is. It was this one. Incantation magic. You have a powerful tongue, right? So we have visualizing and saying it. So every direction is the right direction. Success is coming. I forgive those who don't want success for me. I'm going to have it no matter what. Be action and have it. Okay? I'm going to have it no matter what. Subscribe if you have good taste. <laughs> and you want more messages like this. All my information is in the little description box about joining my reading club or getting a personal reading or buying any of my decks. And you can subscribe. I think, we're, what else are we supposed to tell you guys? Subscribe, like, comment. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe, like, and comment. Like, comment, subscribe. All right. Thank you. It's a wrap. Cut the check. I'll see you real soon.